Now in this video, let's start with very important subtopic of the chapter of integrals or integration that is the formulas. In this whole chapter, you'll see that many a times we'll be studying formulas. There are many formulas and the series of formulas starts with this video. So the first formula is integration of x raised to the power n dx. The formula for this evaluation of this integral is x raised to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 where n should not be equal to minus 1 that is very important otherwise we'll have not defined in the denominator because of the 0 in the denominator. So one thing how do you calculate integrals? Okay the first if you can learn is fine. The second C first we'll observe and then I'll tell you integration of simply dx that means integration of dx can be taken as integration of 1 into dx right now what is the value that should be differentiated with respect to x so as to give me 1 because I say that integration is the reverse process of differentiation so what should be differentiated in order to give me 1 x should be differentiated with respect to x in order to give me 1 remember I used to write d by dx of x is equal to 1 that is what is happening now this d by dx if it goes there becomes integration of 1 and it should be giving me x so my answer would be x with one constant which I say is constant of integration similarly see integration of cos x dx integration of cos x means what value should be there which should be differentiated in order to give me cos you know that when you differentiate sin x with respect to x you get cos that means here the answer should be sin x plus c this is how you find out the formulas but every time you will not be evaluating you will be simply memorizing next sin x whose differentiation is sin x if i say i have cos x what is the differentiation of cos x it is minus sin x right it is not sin x but if i have minus cos x it will be minus multiplied by minus sin x in the answer this will give me plus sin x so plus sin x is obtained when you differentiate minus cos x so it should be minus cos x plus c similarly what to differentiate with respect to x in order to get secant square x you know that tan x will give me secant square x on differentiation plus constant of integration you have to add next what about cosecant square x cosecant square x is actually obtained you know that if i differentiate cortex cortex differentiation is minus cosecant square x but this time we have only cosecant square x so it should be minus cot x plus c similarly next example quickly now you people can do it let's try our hands on this secant x tan x is obtained on differentiation of secant x so secant x differentiation with respect to x give me secant x tan x plus c next cosecant x cot x you know that the differentiation of cosecant x is what minus cosecant x into cot x but this is only cosecant x cot x so it should be minus cosecant x plus c right next to the second column we come on to these functions as you can see these are all the result of inverse trigonometric function differentiation so what on differentiation will give me 1 upon under root 1 minus x square it will be sine inverse x so integration would be sine inverse x plus c also the same thing is written over here now if I have to find out the formula with respect to cos inverse can I find it definitely the formula would be minus cos inverse x plus c how let's see now this is all what is our rough work now you know that cos inverse x differentiation with respect to x is minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square and already 1 minus is there so minus minus will make me plus do I don't get 1 upon under root 1 minus x square again so sin inverse x plus c and minus cos inverse x plus c give me the same on having these values next similarly this should be 1 upon under root 
1 plus x square tan inverse x plus c. But if I have to think about something else also, I can also say it should be minus cot inverse x plus c due to the same obvious reasons. Understood now? Next, 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 is the differentiation of secant inverse x. So, an integration constant of integration has to be added. Similarly, what about cosecant inverse? So, it should be minus cosecant inverse x plus c. Because if minus is there upon differentiation, again one minus will come, it will become plus. Next, e ki power x or e raised to the power x, differentiation or integration gives me same because e raised to the power x differentiation is only e raised to the power x. 1 upon x is the result of log x. So, it should be log x plus c mod for positive. Last but not the least, a raised to the power x exponential function. a raised to the power x should be giving me something as a result. Now, you see, what is the differentiation of a raised to the power x? Tell me the answer of differentiation of a raised to the power x. It should be a raised to the power x log a, right? So, a raised to the power x only we need. It will come when this log a will go in the denominator. So, the answer should be a raised to the power x upon log a plus c. So, these are the basic formulas for integration because of which we will be able to solve some simple numerical problems and later on with these numericals we will be able to solve, with these uh, formulas we will be able to solve some difficult numericals also. I request you to please memorize them and keep practicing more questions based on it.